Time travel is a funny thing. My wife and I talked about the, the people, the places, or the events that we would be interested in seeing if we had the opportunity to travel back in time. For instance, this wood is over 100 years old. My parents' house was built in the early 1900s. And this was some of the original tongue and groove boards that were a part of the construction. During the remodels, my dad was very careful to, whenever possible, keep a lot of this wood, take all the nails out best he could, you know, store it somewhere to be used later because it was very straight. You can just tell the fact that it had a lot of character, nice pine boards. Years ago, I don't remember if I was asked to do this or if I volunteered to do this, but I was going to make my mom a garden bench out of, you know, with the story of it, you know, 100-year-old wood, reclaimed from the house remodel, remade into a bench that can serve yet another function for years to come. She enjoyed to garden. Unfortunately, she passed away a few years ago. So she doesn't get the opportunity to see this, and I was so busy that I never got around to taking that wood and actually making it into a bench for her. So when I saw the prompt for time travel, you know, after she passed away, the bench got more elaborate. Oh man, I'm going to make that the best bench, you know, in honor of my mom. You know, dovetails or all of this fancy joinery, all of these things that I don't really know how to do. And when I saw the prompt, it made me realize that I think the story behind this is way more important than the beauty or the technique. So I decided just to make something that highlights its character. We have a board here, similarly, probably about 50 or 60 years old from one of the first times that this barn was remodeled. All that's left to do is put some finish on it, maintain it, and hopefully pass it and the story of my mom down to the generations to come. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That's what I got out of the prompt of time travel. I'll see you next time.